this training video, we're going to go over how to install additional plugins for your version of OCalc. Beginning with OCalc Pro version 5.0, there have been a set list of plugins included with the installer. However, there are additional plugins available to increase the functionality of your program. To access those, we go under the Tools menu, down to Miscellaneous, and the first choice in our list is for downloading plugins. If we click this, we are redirected to the Osmos webpage where we're shown a list of all the plugins available for your corresponding version of OCalc Pro. So if, for example, we wanted to add the DXF importer tool, we would begin by downloading it. So we click on it here, it begins downloading. We can set the location where we're going to save that file by going to Save As. In this case, it's going to save directly into my Downloads folder. However, you can choose to save it wherever you like, as long as you remember the location. So if we hit Save, it tells us that our downloading has completed, so we can minimize this window. The next step would be to install the plugin which we can do by going through the same process under Tools to Miscellaneous Options and our second choice for installing plugins. Now you may be prompted if you want to allow changes to be made to your computer, like I am. If you are, you just click Yes, even though that's not showing here in the video. You would just click Yes, which opens up this pop-up window where you would click Install Plugin. You would then navigate to wherever you save that file. In this case, it opens automatically to where I saved it. So, if I bring this window in, we can see that I have it here. Once you select it, you can click Open, and it will install the plugin. You can select OK, and hit Done. And it will ask you if you want to restart your program to pick up on all those changes. We will select No for now. And lastly, we can turn on the plugin by going under Options, under our Manage Plugins. And here we're given a list of all the plugins we currently have. And here is my DXF Importer tool, so we can turn it on and click Apply. Now it will ask you again if you want to restart the program. This time we will hit yes. It's not necessary to restart it twice, so that's why we selected no to that previous prompt. So once OCalc opens back up, we should be able to see our tool listed, which we can find by going under our tools drop down. And here it is right here, DXF import, and there you go.